To talk more about the U.S. actions against the EU, let's cross to our reporter Marion Zaidi in Brussels. Marion, tell us about the list of new tariff goods. It sounds quite staggering. Well, the list of EU products identified, of course, to be subject to new additional U.S. tariffs include all kinds of cheeses, olives, pork sausages, ham, cherries, pasta, Irish and Scotch whiskey and copper metals. Now, there's no uh, official EU reaction just as yet, but by creating these new tariffs on these products, the U.S., of course, thinks it will help to enforce their rights in the World Trade Organization dispute against the EU uh, regarding state subsidies to civil aviation manufacturers. Now, this is, of course, a long-standing, years-long spat between the two trading partners. And in fact, back in April, the World Trade Organization ruled in favor of the European Union's position that the United States had failed to remove trade distorting subsidies to Boeing that could, of course, severely damage Airbus's market opportunities. And because of that ruling, the EU Commission, of course, published a $20 billion preliminary list of U.S. products that could be subject to EU countermeasures. And that list, of course, followed U.S. threats in April to impose tariffs on $11 billion of EU products ranging from wine to cheese to Airbus jets, of course. But, you know, while they go back and forth, just last Friday, the U.S. and EU signed an agreement subject to approval to increase the import of U.S. quotas of non hormone treated beef into the EU. And that deal could result in exports uh, worth $420 million annually uh, for the U.S. Right. And can Trump use these tit for tat tariff uh, threat to leverage the EU and Airbus dispute? More recently, he threatened EU cars and said it was a joke. What's going on there? Well, you know, on August 2nd, the U.S. president joked, of course, that he was poised to impose crippling tariffs of, of up to 25 percent on German cars. And that could really hit the German car industry by losses of up to 12 percent. And all of this, well, it's really about leveraging for a trade deal. And the one industry, of course, that you really doesn't want uh, getting caught up in this trade tariff spat is, of course, car manufacturing. And just last month, uh, Germany's economy minister said that the EU could, of course, be willing to drop levies on American cars completely. What both sides are really trying to do here is to find ways uh, to bring their standards closer together. And Friday's beef deal is, of course, a sign of that undertaking. But the general trade talks are, of course, already stalling due to an impasse over tariffs on agricultural products. France, in particular, is opposed to the inclusion of agricultural products in trade negotiations. They fear heavy losses for their farmers should all import restrictions be removed. So until they can really unstick talks, expect these tit-for-tat tariffs and tensions to continue.